couple of weeks, my life is gonna change completely and forever. Um, uh, hi. This is my life right now. Help. Okay, so let me put this here. I hope that this holds on. And for me, well, this feels so real because I was thinking of making this kind of video for such a long time and for me it was like impossible to think that I would never do it. So yeah, <laughs> finally we left Germany. We left Germany forever and ever. I'm trying to document everything. We are going back to Spain and all the house is looking like a mess. I'm telling you that we have been not prepared for so many things. We left Germany and nowadays we moved back to Spain. We are living in my hometown, big Barcelona, and um, we're still like trying to get things done and settle down and it's not easy. It's not, but yeah, that's the main reason why I've kept myself out of social media and I was trying to at least do something for our family. And also we ask for guidance all the time, guidance from God, because this is not just our decision. Also, we let things be in a certain way and if things flow, it's because they have to be like this. And if it doesn't work, we believe and trust in God and we know that we, we learn something from it. I have so many things that I called like maybe at some point in my life I will wear them or I will use them but I've never did it so I think that this is a time to throw everything that I've been not using for the past three four years <laughs> and it's quite a lot <laughs> oh my god yeah. I mean <laughs> Like, I need to prepare all of this and I have just three days left before I go back to Spain. Everything, we went to the Burger Amt and we went to the, uh, like, uh, insurance company to shut off our medical cards. Like, yes, I, I start to see the light, but it seems that at home I have so much to do and I'm alone. My husband is still working until Friday and I'm just asking for guidance and for help because I might drown in all of this mess. <laughs> So today is the day we are living for sure in Germany and this amazing apartment that has brought us so much happiness and challenges in our lives. So yeah. And if you are wondering if if it is easy because we are trying we we're still trying to settle down, it's not. Even though it's my hometown, it's my home city, I know the language, I know everything, how it works. It has been a really difficult time. Uh, first of all, because people, they don't want to rent your apartment, mostly because you don't have payment sheets from the country, you have it from Germany in their case. And also because here there is so much racism towards Mor Moroccan people. and. When I've tried to contact with different people to to rent their apartments, they said 
no just for the names we'll give them for example if i say that my name is muhammad or shadia or zakaria they will literally in the and that, at that moment tell us that it's not available anymore but if i call with a, uh, with another name for example sandra or monica they will tell us that it's available and no problem and when we can set uh, an appointment to see the apartment so it was a really difficult time also the work experience that i had just for those six months are not compared to germany and we knew about this and we try we still try to see things different and settle down in a certain way to adapt to adapt ourselves in this kind of new way of doing but yeah it was not what that what i expected but good um we are happy we are next to our families they have they have helped us a lot i mean a lot and i feel blessed i feel really blessed to have such a family and they are always supportive they are always asking they are always willing to help and that that is something that we are not used to you know so yeah alhamdulillah my my kids are very much happy they are happy they are thriving living as you know there there is so much joy and they are like enjoying everything and just for the mere reason of seeing your kids happy it makes all of this worth it we are in our new apartment in my home city as i said we left germany there were so many things that led us to take such a decision it wasn't just because our kids though it was the main reason uh, but yes uh, it has been so many things going on and also my health has been decreasing a lot since i moved to germany and i'm trying to gain my girl my health back at least at some point because i'm not feeling myself at all um life has been crazy and we are still trying to settle down we just moved to this apartment like three weeks ago there is a lot a lot of things that we have to put out together uh, we left so much furniture in germany that we we thought that we don't need to take with us so now that we have two more rooms and more much more space uh, like we have to buy new furniture for those spaces alhamdulillah but everything will go slowly and steady and life has been crazy like we made such a decision like yes we will leave germany forever in the beginning of this year it was in january that we were thinking about should we do it should not also we had like not a good experience with uh, the education of germany uh, the way they do kindergarten and the way they were doing things with my son we weren't that happy and then we said you know what let's let's go to spain so i went to spain with my kids and i left my my husband working in germany i've been to spain after that like five months without my husband and it was really difficult it was painful it was difficult it was sad it was it was not fun but everything was planned to make our lives much better and alhamdulillah we are trying to do so life is not that easy as it seems it's pretty tough so when I've moved here, I found a job, like part-time job, and I've loved it. But, you know, salary here is not that, that great. And we, we were thinking about things like, should we take this step? Should we not do it? Should we wait? Should we uh, go for it? 
and after talking so many times with my husband through the phone struggling all the time being apart from each other not having this kind of support even though i was with my mom at that time and my dad but you know something of you is missing like the main part of you that it's your husband is missing and like we were having a really tough time at that time really and we asked for guidance we asked for a way out of this situation and god helped us and something came up and after searching and searching for an apartment like my father met someone who had their family living at this apartment and they contacted us they said they said you know we are leaving the apartment if you want we can talk to the landlord and and said and give you the recommendation and yes they were wonderful they helped us a lot and finally alhamdulillah we did so this was a sign that we should do the things that we did and yes we i decided to go back to germany on august to pack all the things with my husband to close my chapter with my last job and to do things in a way that i should do them this is a new chapter in my life and i wanted to share it with you because i know that you have been with me for at least this seven six years that i have been doing content on youtube and all started there on in germany and there i started to be myself and to do all those things that i thought that i could never do and i did them and now i'm here like it's still so real to me like i'm here we are here we are in spain starting a new life Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm only one. 